Aujourd'hui, c'est Julien. Today, Julien is due to bring in the sensors we left in a column of water. Here at 120 meters. Ici à 120 mètres. Puis après à 90 meters and so on. C'est la fin de. And that's the end of our mission for this dive. And now we've got around two and a half hours of decompression left. Gila and Julia start to swim up slowly, respecting the decompression stops. When we get to 80 meters, I see Julien stop, intrigued by the behavior of a gray shark. The closer I come, the more this shark's attitude catches my attention. Si on sait we know que sharks can swim to intimidate. Ces requins peuvent avoir une nage d'intimidation euh, et qu'il faut parfois. But I've never seen a shark behave like this. J'ai jamais vu ça. It Cette was an extremely slow, jerky way of swimming, swinging 90 dire, degrees to the left, 90 degrees to the right, de, de not like anything I'd ever seen before. The shark moves away, then turns around, passes in front of Gila, and swims towards Julia. I'm in open water. There's still this shark swimming against the current. He's coming in my direction, and he leaves the wall at that moment. So we meet in open water. At that point, I'm thinking, wow, this is great, this is really incredible. It's really quite rare to find yourself in such a setting with these creatures so close. At a depth of 80 meters in this magnificent blue, I witnessed an almost unthinkable scene. I don't know exactly what happened. I dropped my camera. I saw Julien. He'd lost his mask. I didn't know the extent of the damage. I just knew it had bitten me. And I thought, OK, I have to react quickly. He'd bitten through my strap, so I've got no mask. I can feel that the water is going straight into my loop. It's much harder to breathe. I put myself in front of his face and give a big OK sign. We were facing an extremely grave situation, since it looked as though he'd lost his rebreather. I absolutely had to stay calm. If I panicked at that point, at that depth, it's simple. You end up drowning. It's over. End of story. In such moments, life flirts with death. Julien puts on his emergency bottles. The shark has gone. Julien seems to be handling the situation. But what about his injuries? He still has to undergo two and a half hours of decompression. Returning to the surface would be fatal. I can see Julien's bleeding. There's a big cloud of diluted blood around his head, coming out of his hood. I realize that he's been injured and that he's bleeding quite profusely. I had to not bleed out in the water. If I lost too much blood, I maybe wouldn't be able to complete the decompression. So I've got two problems. I'm injured and I've got blood loss. So it's tricky. Pass on the info so they can prepare what they need to patch him up, because it's possible his head is going to need some stitches. If it's a deep cut, can he stay two hours in the water? He doesn't have any choice. He has to stay down there. He won't bleed to death? The crew rally around Julia. They're all worried he may pass out before he makes the surface. Julien is in shock. 
And even if he tells us everything's fine and that he's handling it, he doesn't look his usual self. The stop is interminable. Guillain remains vigilant. Every minute that goes by reassures Julien, and the bleeding seems to have stopped. I still can't quite step back to realize just how much worse it could have been. I'm just relieved to have come through it. OK, come on. I'm fine, I'm fine. Where exactly does it hurt? I took a blow here and one here. Yes, there are some marks on your right. I can feel I've got a couple of cuts there. Does that hurt? No, it's fine. Did you feel there was any violent compression of the skull? No, I felt I was held, but not at all compressed. He was too small to get hold of my whole head. I had a vision like in some B-movie where the shark comes along and opens its jaws and then it all goes black. It was like that, because I ducked my head I saw its gaping mouth. I thought, damn. And then it thrashed around for a couple of seconds, and then it had hold of me. I thought, this damn thing is actually trying to eat my head. 